Welcome to Serendib News. Today's trending news. Ukraine's new strategy. Bringing the war to Russian soil. Despite two years of war, Ukraine has surprised many by taking the fight into Russia's Kursk region, aiming to ease pressure on Donetsk and demonstrate its resilience to allies. Russia responded with reinforcements, regaining some territory and evacuating civilians. This bold move seeks to secure more Western support, but comes with heavy losses and uncertain outcomes, raising concerns about the conflict's escalation and Ukraine's ability to sustain such operations. Frontline warship of the Indian Navy set to arrive in Sri Lanka. The Indian Navy's warship, INS Mumbai, arrives in Colombo today for a three-day visit, marking its first visit to Sri Lanka. The ship will bring essential spares for the Dornier patrol aircraft used by the Sri Lanka Air Force, enhancing their maritime surveillance. INS Mumbai will also conduct a familiarization tour for Sri Lanka Navy personnel to share best practices. The ship will depart on August 29, 2024. Major investigation launched after father shot in random attack as daughter was followed home in Melbourne southeast. A father was shot in the driveway of his Cranbourne East home in Melbourne after confronting a driver who had allegedly been following his daughter. The 58-year-old man remains in critical but stable condition, and police are treating the incident as a random attack. Authorities are seeking information about the suspect, who fled in a white station wagon. Qantas slashes prices on 1 million seats after a challenging year for smaller Australian airlines. Qantas is offering up to 30% off on 1 million tickets for travel from October 2024 to July 2025. The sale covers 85 routes, including major and tourism destinations. This comes amid a tough year for Australian airlines, with Bonza and Rex going into administration. Qantas remains top in punctuality, but has dropped in global rankings. Family and friends bid farewell to Herald Sun journalist Sam Landsberger. Sam Landsberger, a 35-year-old Herald Sun journalist, was remembered by hundreds at his funeral after being killed in a truck accident in Richmond. His parents praised him as a caring and joyful person. The truck driver, charged for refusing a blood test, is due in court on September 19. Roosters enforcer faces lengthy ban that could end NRL career. Roosters' Jared Warrior Hargreaves faces a three-game ban for a high tackle, potentially ending his NRL season early. He will miss the last two regular season games and the first week of finals. Teammates Victor Radley and Daniel Tupu face fines for similar offences, while Sharks' Jesse Ramian and Rabbitohs' Cameron Murray are also charged, with Murray set to challenge his at the judiciary. Are you looking to grow your business? Promotions start from $9.95 per day. Call us on 04 888 for more information.